Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the second episode in our Football Manager 2021 journey. Starting off here with Wigan Athletic. We are having a look. You can see our friendly results. Pretty mixed bag, if I'm honest. 2-0 victory over the second team. You saw that one in the last episode. We did beat Barcelona B team 1-0 in a friendly. That was nice. RB Salzburg defeated us 2-3. FC 20, we won 1-0. Newcastle was a 1-1 draw. We lost to Mulder. We drew with Dagenham and Redbridge. Dynamo uh, beat us 2-0. We then beat Barnett 2-0. But we drew with Chorley. 0-0. And Birmingham 2-0. Loss. Today we are going up against Oldham in the Carabao Cup first round and Tranmere in the Papa John's Trophy. Which is a Sweet name. As you can see, it's actually a group. So we've got Liverpool under 23s, Port Vale, Tranmere, and Wigan. So we've got another trophy to uh, to try and get in. So hopefully, maybe we can lift the Papa John's trophy. How cool would that be? Anyway, let's get in to some new arrivals. Tedden Mingi has joined on loan from Manchester United. Very excited to see how he goes this season. He's already valued at 13.25 mil. And he's only on 2.3k per week. He looks like an utterly fantastic player. He is our best centre back by a mile. And uh, yes, Ted. Ted Mengi. I hope that he is a, a beast for a six foot. You know, he's a decent centre back. He's got good pace as well. Otherwise, you know, for League One, he's going to get a bunch of valuable experience and uh, hopefully help us not get relegated this season. Welcome, Ted. Another loan signing, uh, just because, well, we've got no money, so we can't sign anyone apart from players on loan. So here is a, another loan signing Harvey White from Tottenham. Looks like an utterly fantastic player for League uh, League One. 18 years old. Um, pleased to be here, hopefully. Or he's a big part of a social group, at least. But looks like a decent player. He's only 5 for 8. Plays in the midfield. Should be pretty decent for the... Uh, probably be playing as a Carrillo, perhaps. We'll see how we go. But he's going to be in and around the first team. Uh, so yeah, welcome Harvey White. Ben Johnson from West Ham, our new right back, and a uh, player that's actually played before for West Ham's first team seven times, according to the stats here. I'm not sure why he needs four career stats all on the same page. But fair enough. Uh, yeah, valued at 7.25 mil. Again, only picked him up cheap, 2.9k per week. That might be much, that might be quite a bit for a, a League One team, but we'll soon find out whether or not that screws us financially. Not that it can get really any worse, can it? Can it? I hope not. Anyway, yes, um, new right back comes in. He's first choice right back. Um, looks like a decent play. Six foot, he's got you know, decent pace. He's pretty, pretty solid everywhere, 20 years old. Welcome, Ben. And one of the last signings is a Canadian winger, Liam Miller from Liverpool. He's already had eight caps for Canada. He played 33 games last year in Kilmarnock for Scot in the Scottish uh, division. So uh -uh, we'll see how he goes. He spent, yeah, I don't know, 5.75 mil. Uh, 5.75 mil. The club's got nowhere near that. 5.75k per week on his wages, so he is pretty pricey. And um, yeah, hopefully he's a he's a decent winger. He can play on that left side. He can play as a striker as well. We'll probably play him on that left, and we'll see how we go. Six foot one. He's you know fairly tall for a winger. His first touch isn't too bad. His finishing that's well, not the greatest, but uh, if he can get some assists and he can get some goals, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, Spend 5.75k on him per week. Free transfer now. Striker Anthony Stokes, 32-year-old uh, Irish um, striker with nine caps for the Irish national team. I mean, 
he's he's decent enough, isn't he? He's he hasn't really done anything. Um, like look at the teams he's played for: Tractor, um, Adana. Yeah, yeah. Not really a lot. He had come through at Arsenal, but he's the most he's played at Celtic. So we'll see how he goes. He's really kind of moved around a lot. He's coming on a free transfer. He's passed his best, but uh, he's also captain of the team now as well. So I'm sure he will make um, a decent contribution. He's already scored a few goals for us in pre-season. Thought he was decent. He was on trial. Scored a few goals. I was like, wow. Why not? We'll bring him in. See how he goes. He's only on 4K. But, uh, yeah. Welcome, Anthony Starks. And last player that I've brought in is Charlie Gilmore. I uh, picked him up after watching him play in the England Trialist game. Probably put in the best performance on the pitch there, so why not? 325 bucks per week. Apparently we've already listed him for loan. I don't think I'll be putting him out for loan. Um, no. But yeah, he's decent enough. He's obviously played for Telstar in Holland. Fair enough. But uh, he's come back. You know, he's going to try and settle down here at Wig Wigan and we'll see uh, what, what becomes of Charlie Gilmore. And there we have it. That is it. That is all the signings that we've made. A few of the other players were already here. Someone like this Will Keane fella. He was uh, picked up on a free. Same with Viv Solomon. These are all players that were here before I came in. I have sold a few players myself. Mainly just this uh, Emika Obi. Sold him to Wigan for 50 or 71k in the future. Dan Gardner's off to Northampton for 15k and then Luke Robinson as well went to Queen's Park for 10k otherwise yeah we a lot of players already left us but that was before we'd arrived and that was basically because they got relegated you know, players like Anthony Robinson and to Fulham 4.1 mil Kiefer Moore lost for 3 now where's this money gone I mean I know where it's gone, it's just disappeared, the club was in receivership, sort of thing. But anyway, we're going to get into it, and we're going to go... Sure. We've got our tactical meeting. Um, why not? Why not? We'll just say yes to all of them. Curtis Tilt and Mengi have a uh, good partnership. Jamie Jones in goal. Solomon, is that... Massey. Is he a winger, is he? I thought he was a midfielder. Attacking midfielder on the right. Okay, that's fair enough then. You can stay there. Garner up top. Kane, Miller, Pierce, Stokes. Pierce can go there. He can play in the midfield. Stokes, we've got quite a few strikers, so I think we will take off Stokes for more of a midfield uh, this fella Asgard that sounds good to me Asgard can come in I don't want Dr. Benji's squad view here I want my one just man please selection uh, thank you very much so that'll be the team we got Jones and Goal Naismith Tilt Mingi Ben Johnson James Mary White Massey Solomon and Garner all up top custom fluid uh, counter-attack balanced style let's uh, get into the game first competitive match of the season hopefully it's gonna go well for us we are up against Oldham we've got uh, Harry Kewell as the manager of Oldham I'm pretty sure Aussie versus a New Zealander the age-old rivalry so uh, let's see how we go. Come on, New Zealand, and come on, Wigan. Oh, okay. What is happening here? Is this a? Oh, they've got a free kick run on the edge of the box. Pretty dangerous there, but Mingi's headed it away. And uh, 
he's headed it away again. But it's gone straight back to them. And Grant, oof, right over the bar. It's a very uh, interesting new layout. It takes a little bit of uh, time getting to, to grips with it. As uh, Bobby Grant has scored his first goal for Oldham. And we are now losing 1-0. So, great start to, to the campaign. Great start. Just what we want. And they're coming at us again. McAlpine, good save from Jones. We'll have to see. Hopefully, we can do something. Is uh, Gavin Massey on the wing now? Gives it up to Ben Johnson. Back to Massey, but Borthwick Jr. tackles. Oh, get in Massey. He's given it straight up to Garner. He's given it to Mary. Trying to find a bit of space on Solomon. Solomon shoots and Solomon scores. Get in Viv Solomon Ottobar. We're back. 1-1. One, one. Look at this. Mary just plays it into Solomon. Tries to find someone. Sees no one available. Pops a shot. And it's right in that bottom corner. Fantastic. Alrighty, here we go. We've got a throw in now. 48th minute. It's been half time. It's not much has happened as Harvey now. Gives it out to Johnson. And Solomon gets his second of the game. Get in. That's what we like to see. Great assist from Ben Johnson on his debut. Bang! Right in the back of the net. Good header from Solomon there. Should be an important player. Good asset for our team. Uh, hopefully this season, if he can get a few more goals like that, be more than happy. Why don't we make a few substitutions now? We're going to get on... Um, Solomon's had a bit of play. Let's get on Kane, and I'm pretty sure he is more support. We'll see if that does anything. Solomon again now after Curtis Tilt. Kai's up there. And to Garner. And to Solomon, who almost had his hat trick. But saved by Lawler. Good shot. Ooh, Jamie Jones had to make a good save there. I'm waiting for a break and play. There we go. Will Keane has come on for Joe Garner. Alrighty, there we go. Borthwick Jr. Jackson. Why do I keep saying he's Jr.? It's Borthwick Jackson. He's nicked the ball, but nothing has come of it. Victor, not Victor, Solomon has been the star of the show today. He's really helped us especially with those two goals. Standout player, I think. 95 minutes in. Ooh, close, but Jamie Jones keeps us in the game. We don't need uh, an extra time or a replay. What can Solomon do? Gets tackled in the box. Naismith tackles, and they're going to get a free kick here. It's a bit too far out for them to do anything, but stranger things have happened. Oh, come on, there we go, back to Jones. Fantastic save. Come on, it's been five minutes, Ref, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, we don't need to just wasting time, there we go. 2-1 victory. That's what we like to see. Oh, what are we going to do? Outstretched arms. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. It was indeed. Carabao Cup win in the first round. Wigan are through to the second round. It wasn't too long ago that they won the Carabao Cup now, was it? Was it? Or was it the FA Cup? No. 
We as Wiggins. Must have, oh, must have been the FA Cup. Let's have a look. When was the last time? There we go. 2012 2013. Wigan beating Manchester City in Wembley. So, is that the only time they've won it? Could be. I haven't even checked the history too much of that, but that's alright. Wigan have won. Very pleased with that. Wigan rise to see off Latics. I thought we were called the Latics. Anyway, Wigan aren't as good as they think they are. Well, that's a bit rude. He's just saying that because he's an Australian and I'm New Zealander. Harvey White, unfortunately injured, bruised thigh. And uh, Viv Solomon Otterbar. Supporters have been keen, made an instant impact. And uh, will praise his performance. You were superb in front of goal. Keep it up. Thanks, mate. Let's continue on. Oh, let's have a let's respond to. Uh, do you wish to respond to Harry Kewell's rather critical comments? Harry is entitled to say whatever he wants, but for my part, I want to say how much his team impressed me. Let's play the uh, the higher the high horse. We'll pretend that we're the bigger person. Radio. Let's get into the the. Uh, the Papa John's Trophy. We've got the Carabao Cup uh, second round, so let's see who we're going to get. I'm just going to quickly go through. No one yet. Hopefully, someone easy, perhaps. Oh, there we go, Barnsley. Okay. Barnsley are in the championship, so they're, well, they're technically better, so that might be a bit of a hard one, but we will uh, we'll see how we go, and uh, let's just get back to this Papa John's Trophy match. Okay, we're well, back, Papa John's Trophy time. We've got uh, Jamie Jones starting, Naismith, Tilt, Mingi, uh, we've got Darnell. Darnell Johnson instead of um, Ben Johnson. Kind of confusing me now. Uh, White's going to play in uh, DM. Actually, no, he's not. Mary is going to play in DM. Charlie Gilmore is going to play as a centre mid. Miller, O'Neill, Crankshaw, and Joseph. I have played a few youngsters in this game because I did promise that I'll put them in. Um, so all of these players are. Oh, what? Number of qualify minimum. This player counts towards the minimum number of qualifying players required. What? Okay, whatever that means. Sure. Um, they're all just going to play this game because I don't know what a Papa John's trophy is. It's not, you know, hugely important to me. Um, and we're playing a lesser side as well. So I thought, well, might as well just chuck up the. Check up the youngsters and see what happens. Alright, first highlight. They want me to uh, replace Mackenzie O'Neill, who's apparently quite uh, quite tired. Probably because he's playing some like under-18s or something. But Ollie Crankshaw's goal has been disallowed. Ah, oh, that's a shame. We could have been 1-0 up. We're half... Oh, he was close. It's offside though, that's unfortunate. Fine, I, um, let's replace him with Will Kane then. Uh, what I will do is we actually just chuck him up there and we can have two strikers. He, yeah, he's fine as a deep lying forward on attack. Cool, him and Joseph can play. They'll be fine. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. We're expected um, to at least score half a goal. Um, pump to the stouts, which are hands together, hands in pockets. I'm not happy with the performance out there, and let's uh, tell the players I know they're capable. There you go. 
to start the second half. Let's get into it. Hope you're all enjoying the series so far. It's only, well, this is only the second episode. But uh, yeah, we're getting into it. Three episodes uh, a week. Mondays, Wednesdays, and through, uh, Fridays. Why on it? Come on, where's the expected? We're supposed to get 1.27 goals. Like, let's let's shout and tell them to demand more. Might have to make a few substitutions because uh, we ain't doing much. As ba Ollie Banks scores for Tranmere, and uh, wow, we are one nil down. Let's. That looks like a bit of a cracker. Spearing got it. Into Banks, who just couple one touch. Bang. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Well, let's get um let's get Ben White in. Let's get Charlie Gilmore off and Solomon on. No, we got no more substitutions. Well that'll do. We'll change up the midfield. We've gone down. We are fourth get stuck in why not it's, uh, white's gonna whip one in not gonna happen though it's gonna come back to Naismith who's gonna give it back to white into Curtis Till two takes a pop as a center back fair enough but uh looks like we've lost this one already which is a bit of a shame only two competitive games in and and we've lost oh and they could be on the break again here, no. Miller, what are you going to do, mate? You're doing some great... Into Smith now. I don't know what I was trying to say before. Miller, oh, he gets tackled by O'Connor. Surely that's it. Game's over now. Ah, uh, yeah. Game's over. A 1-0 defeat to Tranmere. From it's a shame there's a lot of work, therefore we're training hard tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I guess that's what happens when you chuck the kids in. So... It's, is it Yaya Torre playing for Newcastle? You know, No, it's Yannick Torre. Fair enough. I thought that was Yaya Torre. I was like, you want? Why have Newcastle signed Yaya Torre? It's not a Dr. Benji save, is it? Well, 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 Wigan uh, have lost to Tranmere, which is um, fantastic, just what we wanted. We've got to kick off uh, League One next with a game against Ipswich Town, which I will uh, see for in the next episode. So uh, thanks a ton for watching. Catch you in the next one. Make sure to uh, like, subscribe, comment down below, all that good stuff. And yeah, peace.